Hello, everybody, and welcome to game four of the marathon. Let us unpause because it'll immediately <laughs> spoil <laughs> what, what we're doing. A truly good game. A, tr a truly good game. I remember this game being genuinely good. So if I'm wrong, what will that say about me and my taste for video games that I've learned, that I've learned from my mistakes? This is by Heavy Iron, the same guys that did uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, I believe. I've never played Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is why this that game isn't part of this marathon. Otherwise, it likely would. Uh, but I did play this one. There we go. Scooby-Doo, Night of a Hundred Frights. New game. The Mystery Machine, Part 1. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this game. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood! <laughs> Fried clams! Runa fish! Runa salad, jumbo shrimp, runa sushi. <laughs> All right, you two. Don't forget the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque. No, silly. We're here to solve a mystery. Aww. My friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. Oh. <laughs> And she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. Hey, Holly. Hey, Daphne. I'm so glad you could make it. And you must be Freddy, Thelma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. Wow, the whole gang. I've heard so much about you. Daphne's kept me up to date on all of your cases. So I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Really? And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top-secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. <laughs> no one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. It don't tell me, because it's haunted, right? Yeah, Shaggy. How'd you know? Because it's always haunted. Jeepers. Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you look around. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters, but we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. Shrimp roastery is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I could really go for a... Ruby snack. You read my mind, pal. Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> well, what do you know? Scooby snacks. Hey there, Scoob. Wait up. Leave some for me. This mouse fishy here. Not fishy, pal. Scooby snacky. Raggy. Wait. Gee, 
Scoob. It's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Craggy? Drive on the road. And there we go. The start of the game, the map. You haven't collected a map, Scooby. Twenty five snacks. Okay. So let's see here. Mystic Playground, which isn't a thing at all, really. There's the Hedge Maze. Gloom and Doom in the Tomb, a one-way trip to the Crypt. Smuggler's Cove. Give her your timber, Scooby. Okay, I'm trying to remember. So, Mystic Manor has two bosses. Who's a Yella in the cellar? Continue the lighthouse. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, Smuggler's Cove has a boss, Hedge Maze has a boss, Mystic Manor has two bosses. need a key to unlock this gate. Mystic Playground. Too high to reach without the springs invention. There we go. Snack gate unlocked. We're going to the Mystic Playground. The Mystery Machine Part 2. Hello Scooby, I will give you some tips on some of the things you will find around Mystic Manor. Make tracks, Scooby-Doo. You can run faster by holding R1 while running. Jump. Look for these clues to give you hints about the area. Some doors will need a certain number of snacks. There are many spooky monsters around. If you get scared and lose a dog tag, eat some food. It will fill you back up. These platforms look like they will fall if you stand on them too long. You can collect a monster token. Gold. Dang. It'll eventually come back up. There we go. There we go. Rare! A Raksha token! <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Give me that! <laughs> okay. So you might be wondering how I got over here so quickly. Well, never mind. I'm strange and spooky. Now move along. <laughs> that black sticky goop has turned up all over the place lately. The tar is very sticky and it keeps you from running or jumping when you stand in it. I remember that. Scooby! Wee!
Damn. Come on now. Got it. Yeah. There are snacks that I'm missing. I swear they give you a little thing. The spinning mystery machine is to save your progress. I swear they give you a little thing where it's just like, hey, you got all the snacks or something like that. Maybe it's per area. Because there's probably snacks that I didn't get in part one of the mystery machine. That's because I can't get to some of them. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I still think I can't get to some of them. Okay. Clamor in the Manor, part one. Need the key. You need the spring, the professor's spring invention before you can make this jump. Whoa. Thanks, Scooby Doo. Dolly? Oh, Scooby Doo, I'm so glad you found me. Oh, it was just awful. As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind appeared. He told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Here, take this map. It'll help you get around a little easier. Oh, oh, it was he told us that okay, he hang was on. behind my uncle's disappearance. Then he pulled on a lever, these trap doors opened up, and we were all whisked away. I've been stuck behind this locked door ever since. Here. Okay. Clamor in the manor. Oh, yeah, 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 it tells me down there. Oh, it also tells me that I'm missing the token. Okay, that's perfect. We're missing five. Interesting. There's no point in continuing this way, I don't think. Because we can't really get far in Mystic Manor until we get the helmet, I think. Okay, we're in... Oops. Yeah, I'll save. Why not? Bet you're wondering where the key is to the gate, huh? Well, so am I. I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere. But you'll need a shovel. Here, take this and get to work. They press the circle button when standing on a flower patch. Yeah. Very treasure. Ruby. 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 Scooby snacks, you hear? Ruby. Food doesn't grow on trees. Well, except for fruit. But never mind. <laughs> okay. 
Chalk on the Dock, part one. You again, eh? Well, this is the fishing village. Be careful not to fall in the water. There's snack boxes up there. Take your jumps carefully around the flying fish. There we go. You can jump on top of small monsters and squash them. Oops. Where Scooby Doo, you need one of the professor's inventions to defeat larger monsters. Try sneaking past the monsters while they are asleep or not paying attention. How do I sneak? Thanks. Hang on to the pelican for a shortcut back. Be sure to grab all the goodies along the way. We can do that later. Shock on the dock, part two. It only lets me swing side to side. You go on, Scoob. I'm gonna hang around here. Yeah, get it? <laughs> hang around. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, it won't let me swing. I can get you, though. Looks like you need a little spring in your step. Look for one of the professor's inventions at the end of the war. You can use the door behind me to get there. Good luck. That gate unlocked. Fear on the Pier, Part 2. Take this boat ride for a shortcut around the canary. Bump, bump. Fear on the Pier, Part 3. Banner. You can now double jump by pressing X. Hell yeah.
Shock on the dock. Part two. What does this say? This button appears to be stuck. Come back after you find an invention that you let you bash it. Find the spring invention, did you? Those will come in handy back at the fountain where I met you. Need something on your feet to avoid sticking to the tar. Maybe the professor has an invention for that. On the dock. You again, eh? Well, this is the fishing village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How much are you? Yo! The Monster Gallery. You must collect all snacks in another area to unlock the next image. Okay. Look at all these guys. Are they in the order where they f when they first appeared? A good medium is rare. Scooby and the gang join a mysterious fortune teller for a seance. Who makes Scooby snacks? The Scooby snack factor. I hate this game. I hate this game. No, because there's the Mastermind. Mastermind would be last if it's in order. I do know that the Black Knight is the first one. Oh. Is it... It's by name, isn't it? Zombie, werewolf, witch doctor, witch, R, space monster, scarecrow. That's... Isn't that Captain Redbeard? Or maybe it's just Redbeard. Mastermind... Ghost, Green Ghost, Geronimo, 
Gargoyle. Creeper, Caveman, Black Knight. Okay, I, I think it's alphabetically. I think. It's a warp gate. Aha! All snacks collected. Perfect. The Haunted Hedge Maze. On Edge in the Hedge, part one. It appears to open from the other side. the helmet power up to open this gate. in the hedge. Let's go be there. Here are two of the professor's inventions, the slippers and lampshade. You can use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by holding R2 while walking. You can use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding R2. With the zombie hiding in the urn. in the hedge part three gate appears to open from the other side danger cliffs below ow It's always food. Alright, that was a very straightforward shot.
Yeah. <laughs> All righty. It's a mean greenhouse, Scooby-Doo. Okay. It's a rombie. The mean greenhouse, Scooby Doo. Go. Ow. It's a warm day. Perfect. Kills and spills on Haunted Hill.
The I fucking knew there was gonna be one. Soapbox will replenish your soap bubbles when you find that invention. Damn. Okay. Chills and spills on Haunted Hill, part two. and spills on Haunted Hill. Use the Super Smash to activate the stone switch and open the gates. I don't have Super Smash. Okay. Ow. No. I actually made it up there without the damn bat. the helmet to pass this web open and it'll return to the start of the hedge maze. Ooh, boy. Found the professor's helmet invention. Press square to dash ahead and bash objects and monsters. Delicious. On edge in the hedge. Perfect. Perfect. Werewolf obtained. 
Yeah, that's fine. I got the monster token, that's all that matters. The Mystery Machine, Part 1. Alrighty. Do I dare end it now? That'd be super funny. Honestly, it would be. I'm curious about something real quick. Play just a little more. Clamor in the manor. Seems to be locked from the other side. I know, you little bitch. Hang on. Yeah. I don't 100% know the intended way, but that was a much better way. I just really like the ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Clamor in the Manor, part two. Reapers? He's the Creeper. Oh, come on. I'm literally right in it. Alright, fine. I think I know what it wants. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, boy. That's fine. I got what I wanted the most.
You're kidding me. Grab the fucking box. Part four. The key. Is locked on the other side. Oh, come on. Upset. It's a warp gate. Six. Ow. Right. 
Where'd my cake go? Stop it. Right. You're mad. I hate that. Alrighty. Mind your manners. Creepers! It's a creeper! Whoa! Help! Run! Creepers! It's a creeper! Escaped the creeper, only to be killed by a rat. Perfect. Geronimo. There we go. Alright, so the witches respawn. Mind Your Manners, Part 3.
Got him. The man eating a sandwich. Ay, 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 ay. Now this way is open. It's a warp gate. All scares upstairs. Alright, it's been close to an hour. I think I can call it here safely. Ooh! We haven't actually explored that much. However, we have All Scares Upstairs, Don't Look Down, Scooby-Doo, which isn't that long, uh, Cower in the Tower, Panic in the Attic, and then A Dark and Stormy Night, which will then... should take us back somewhere. Dark Stormy Night doesn't have any monster tokens. Panic in the Attic has two monster tokens. Alongside Cower... Ah, this area. Cower in the Tower has a monster token. Panic in the Attic has a monster token. That, that's it. Don't Look Down, Scooby-Doo doesn't have any. All Scares Upstairs has one. So yeah, we're making progress. We're not even halfway done with this area, though. But... Smuggler's Cove, I think, is the biggest one. Yeah. Dock on the docks. Which then lead to Fishy Clue... No. Leads to Fear on the Pier. So yeah, all the big X's are the ones that we've been to. We haven't really explored this area yet. This hedge maze, though... We've explored the entirety of the hedge mage portion of the hedge maze. Uh, there's still sea cliffs. Scared stiff on skull cliff. Misbehavin caused a cave in. A tight spot for a grave plot. One way trip to the crypt. Gloom and doom down in the tomb. I, I love these names, honestly, I do. Uh, and then the actual mystery machine and the mystic playground. It's great. But yeah, most of what we want is going to be... Let's see. If I'm remembering correctly, we do all of this, and then right here we get the cloches. Which we can then take back here. Which will let us go to Fishy Clues for Scooby-Doo. Which is then Fear on the Pier. Coast for some ghost. Going down which way. Wreck on the deck I don't think we can get to. Probably end up doing Lighthouse Fright House. And then I think we have to go back to Hedge Maze to do all of Hedge Maze. And then we go back to Smuggler's Cove to do Wreck on the Deck. And then we go back to Mystic Manor to do the Basement, Secret Passages, and then the Lab. I believe that's the case. I believe that is the chain of events, if I remember correctly. Of course, along the way, it's going to be a lot of backtracking, because once we get new power-ups, we can get new Ruby Racks. Ugh. But yeah, that is going to be it for now. Next time, at the very least, we'll be finishing up uh, Mystic Manor and beating our first boss. Uh, as well as maybe doing some of the fishing village. 
probably get like back here. And then maybe then we'll call it. I could see that. I could definitely see that. But for now, that is going to be it. Thank you all for watching, especially if you got this far and stick around. Because there's a lot more to come.